Hi there everybody, a few days ago I learned English with a bold orange hat and today we're gonna learn more with Meet Carl Pillington video. By the way, I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and on this channel I learn English through my watching some stuff, through reading and retelling, through some of the conversations and if you are enjoying it, please uh, subscribe and like, uh, but click like button, it will be interesting to see this prog progress because I started it uh, two years ago and what we have right now you can see. My English uh, comprehension listening skills is not super nice but I improve it daily and try right now. Let's go. Trying. Hi, um, thanks for buying my DVD politics. Uh, as a little extra um, I thought you could meet a friend of mine. I talk about him in the show, Carl Pilkington. Um, I thought it would be nice for you to get to know him a little bit better. So please meet Carl Pilkington. Alright. He's so young. Alright. Yeah. Good, yeah. Look at his little roundy, baldy monkey head. <laughs> roundy, baldy monkey head. Fucking orange. Like he said. It is not like I want to swear to him and uh, make him something not really good. He said it uh, yourself. You didn't know, yeah. <laughs> right, Carl. A lot of subjects we touch on um, in the in the stand up and in politics in general. Yeah. Things like race, disability, sexuality, law and order, crime and punishment. What is law and order? I know what is law. Law it is a kind of. Uh, what's inside of our country we have, but order in this thing. Crime and punishment, okay? And I want to go through those uh, with you and uh, find out your views on those subjects and thereby the general public getting to know you better. Uh, so let's go for it, shall we? Race. Okay, start off with uh, race, a big political issue. Race, what do you think about race? It's just, well, it's just all the same, aren't we, at the end of the day? Good. Yeah. Mm. I mean, some of us age better than others. Yeah? What do you mean? Uh, Chinese. <laughs> well, what do you mean? They just... They age better than us. No, they, they age worse than us. What's that based on? Just when you see them. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know how old they are. No, but you never see a sort of a 35-year-old one. <laughs> It is so hard to understand him. In this uh, recording, it is so, like, uh, ununderstandable. I can understand this left man from from London, but this man from Manchester, it is really hard. His speech is so, like, a bl blurry. <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean you don't see a 35-year-old one? Right, we're in London, yeah? Yeah. It's a Chinatown. Yeah. So, I walk through there a lot, right? And they just always look old. Yeah, but they might be old. No, they're not. <laughs> Why is they're he? Not. What is he? <laughs> is he speaking that Chinese people look old? Yes. You can't say that. Can't. And you see some that are about th probably about thirty, right? And, and I'm not having a go, but normally when they're about twenty, they're good looking. I right. think they're all right. Yeah. See when he's thirty, forget it. They just age overnight. It's like a pair. No. Just, just what is yours is this? Chinese people age very... That some of the oldest people... I think the oldest man in the world is Chinese, 120. Yeah, he says, he says he's 120. He's probably about 40. <laughs> I'm telling you. Probably 40. Ah, maybe... He speaks like... Uh, maybe he's not like 120, this Chinese person. Maybe he's 40. Under 40. Again? He says, he says he's 120. He's probably about 40. <laughs> Like, uh, <laughs> Jesus, this is so laughable, laugh. I'm telling you, fact. I mean, I'm not, like I say, I'm not having a go. I like them. Give themselves themselves and that. They're all right. But that's right. race, that's done. So that's brilliant. That's it. We've covered race. Okay. I think that uh, this talk was about uh, Chinese. Uh, that that we listened. Disability. Disability is people without uh, legs, without something and with specific specific uh, things to do. I don't know how to say it correct. With specific needable things. 
in Russia we don't call it like disability, we call, call it like people with specific needs. Yes, needs means that they need specific care, they need specific uh, eat, uh, uh, specific food, uh, food eating tools. We talk about disability in the show. What are your views on the disabled? What dis what sort of disabilities? Well, what sort are they? Well, as soon as you mention disabilities, I'm thinking elephant man. Elephant, uh, what elephant month? What? As soon as you mention disabilities, I'm thinking elephant man. Elephant man, like a man elephant or what? Rather than just in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. Because they get looked after, they get ramps and that, don't they? They're all right. Well, they're they're loving it. They love they love those ramps, don't they? No, but they can't really get enough of those ramps. In and out of libraries, like nobody's business. There's there's different. I mean, you know that I'm into freaks and that. No, again, I'm not. You know, it seems like I'm just just having a go all the time. No, but not. they fascinate me. Like, what do you mean? What is a freak to you, then? Something that you look at and you go, you know, you do a double take. <laughs> Steve Merchant. <laughs> Steve Merchant. Steve Merchant. Steven Merchant, comedian. Who is it? He's an English comedian, actor, writer, director, and presenter alongside Ricky Gervals. He was so called was co-writer and co-director of British TV comedy series The Office and co-writer, co-director. Is he disabled disabled in something? I don't think so. He looks like a John Green. Okay. Uh, just 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 start <laughs> stuff. Right, okay. Like what though? When was it when they used to have sideshows and that and they and they'd take them out like the pinheads and all that? Nothing's changed, has it? You know what I mean? People still like to see a two headed kid or whatever. <laughs> Who likes to see a two headed <laughs> That's what you mean, isn't it? You like to see a two headed kid. There's no such thing. Ah, two <laughs> Oh Jesus, two headed kid. Yes, I remember I was uh, in St. Petersburg in Sk in Kunstkamera Museum. It is first museum in Russia, first ever. And uh, I want to show you a picture right now. It is two-headed child that I saw in this Kunstkamera thing, Kunstkamera Museum. I will show you right now. I have pictures. One moment. Where is it? Where is I lost it. Where are they? Maybe I have them or not. Okay, you should believe me. You should believe me now. I don't have them. Yes. All of them are not here. <laughs> okay, you can Google. Ah, I can Google it. Okay. Oh, no, Kunst camera. Museum St. Petersburg, first museum, Peter the Great made a collection of things, Kunst camera, oh, here, can you see this, I need to make a bigger picture, like this, yes, we have it, and I've seen it in real life, <laughs> it is this way, and uh, I have video about it, by the way, on my channel, two headed, where is it? Ah, here. Yes, I've s I've seen this in real life. Like it is real. It is not real. I don't think so. But uh, and it is too. It was inside of it. Yes, it is scientific uh, things that you can find. Okay, let's make it smaller. This way. This way. Interesting facts. You learned more. Kunstkamera. Yes. I don't recommend fully to visit this Kunstkamera, but it is kind of uh, first museum. It is not like greater than Hermitage. Hermitage is greater. It is so nice and interesting. But uh, Kunstkamera you can visit too if you will be in Saint Petersburg. But firstly, you need to visit Hermitage Museum. It is really a huge collection and uh, with a nice looking things. <laughs> no, there's not a two-headed kid. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> is it true you carry this book round with you? This is a book, right, of the 50 sort of weirdest things in the world. <laughs> Top 50 weirdest things in the world, okay. <laughs> it's a rundown, right? It's a rundown, it's a little chart. Right. right. At number 50, don't know if you can get this. Two Eddie fella. That's at number 50. Oh, I know him. I, I saw him in... Uh, in uh, wa wax, yes, wax specific museum in Saint Petersburg too. I don't know how to say it correct. One moment, wax, 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 yes, wax museum. I saw him uh, like a figure. So what's that number one? <laughs> it's not two heads. What is two heads? It's not two heads. Can you see that? What? Yeah. What do you mean it's not two heads? Well, it's not. It's not. I mean, I it's, it's weird. I'll give you. It's. I mean, that's not a. That's not a normal look. I will give you that. I mean, I don't think he could be sorted out with the salon. But it's not strictly two heads, is it? But I don't know if you like it, that's good. Then. So that, right. Well, that's not, that's not like number fifty and that. There's loads of loads of stuff in. Just do you want to run through some of your favourite freaks with me? Uh, just got to watch. Favourite freaks. A bit worn out. Some of my favourites, yeah. Just normal, normal lad, yeah. Also, we have Bigfoot. We have we have also who men with uh, with fingers specific with uh, different eyes like three eyes. Yeah. Yeah. It looks normal there, eh? just a nice little head, nice little hair cut on that, nice top, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. King Taurus, all <laughs> right now will be. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> three legs. Three, three legs? What? Again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Three-legged fella. <laughs> Three-legged fella. <laughs> he's quite happy with it. The annoying thing is, right? Yeah. Three legs. Yeah. You know what his job was? Yeah. Three-legged juggler. <laughs> Three-legged juggler. What's the point of that? What do you mean the point of it? Well, he was his career's advisor there. <laughs> yeah, what? His career's advisor. Whose career's advisor? Is it like consultant? Did he done? Well, he's got three legs, isn't it? So, any footballer, whatever, <laughs> jogger. <laughs> Jesus, this, this laugh, it is so like. A <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jogger. Like he's dying. You know what I mean? Oh, God. So, you got that in there, he's at number 23. Oh, God. There's loads of odd diseases. I mean, you were talking about like disabilities and that. Sometimes it's not a disability, sometimes just people have got weird stuff. There's, there's one there, right? Again, just normal family, family photo going on, yeah? Everyone's sort of stood around, stood around the piano with the little mate. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that, that age and disease. And it's not, it's not funny, is it? But look at him. Sat around the piano, singing happy birthday for the eighth time that day. <laughs> eighth time up. <laughs> right. Just weird, weird stuff like that. Weird, isn't it? Oh, it fascinates me. It's not having a go. It's just just odd, odd stuff. I like odd stuff. So is that class as disabilities? Well, I thought so. That's what I think of them then. I mean, what other famous sort of freaks are they? See, I don't think they even like being called freaks. I think if you're born with an extra leg, and the uh, and the midwife says, "Well done, Mr. and Mrs. Chalmers, uh, you've given birth to a nine-pound freak." I think. You know what I mean? The freak isn't a term that I think they use. Well, how do they break it to them? I mean, do they use people with a specific uniqueness. Do they, do, do they sort of just slip it in so they go, right, we've got one leg out, and there's the other two? <laughs> just, just slip it in that way. <laughs> I don't know how do they do it? Like the elephant man. Yeah. Elephant man. By the way, sleep. Sleep. What is sleep? I don't know. Sleep, I know that this is like a SL sleep. It means slide, glide, skin, skid, slither. Okay, and elephant man, leg, let's Google. Elephant man. I didn't see him. <laughs> it is movie. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. I didn't see him. Oh, Jesus, this is so creepy. Is it real? Or is it specific uh, 
like face building. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Elephant man's mother gets head headstone in a lie sister. Okay. You know, he's that's my favourite film, you know that. Why is it your favourite film though? Just it's, it's it's brilliant film. It's it's sad. It just makes you think, oh you know. <laughs> favorite thing of about uh, Elephant Man. This joke, maybe or maybe not. Big head. Yeah. Um, you must wake up every day and you think that you've got a normal shaped head. Do you say that? But it's round. Perfectly spherical. What what shape should heads be? Well, they're not perfectly spherical, is it? There's not. Spherical. Most people don't look like a tennis ball. So where are we? Elephant Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just my favourite film. See, you know that wasn't his real name. You know his name was John Merrick. Well, the doctors did use the Elephant Man as a name, so they knew what his problem was before he turned up. Otherwise, you're wasting time looking at filing systems. When they say John Merrick's coming in at three, and the doctor's like, "Oh, what's his problem?" Wasting time. They go Elephant Man's in. They go right, get some more bums in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fact. He's. His uh, type of uh, love is so, how to say it, uh, when you have injection inside of you, so like, so like, uh, reflecting, how to say it, uh, I know word, I will tell you right now, contagious. Contagious. Contagious, yes. Wow. Infective, infectious, communicable, catching. I think the contagious will be the best word for it. Sexuality, what do you think of uh, gay and lesbian issues? Each to their own. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I, I had one working for me. One? You had one, yeah? Good. Gay fella. Yeah. Did you have a name or...? Yeah, 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 but again, it's like our doctor said elephant man's in. I'd sort of say, it's gay fella in, they go, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I didn't understand any word that he speak. I only understood like some catches of words like elephant, may, man and that's all. It is so really speech of uh, <laughs> man. I, I don't know. I don't want to say to him like learn articulation. But uh, guys, for me as a Russian it is really hard to understand. It's just quick. Is it hard to understand to you, my dear viewer from America, from Britain? Please let me know because uh, do I have these issues? Do I have these issues, or maybe someone else have it too? Okay. Problem with him was right. It's, it's gay stuff that he got to, whatever you know, each to their own and that. But what? What sort of gay stuff? Well, they got to? What they do? Is he speaking about hosts, like a host that uh, fly, like Casper? They do stuff, don't they? But. But this, this lad, he saw his come in late, because he'd stay out late. And that's what they all do. They're always tired. That's what they do. So, okay. gays, you know, the, the gays are alright. Gays are alright, are they? Good. He said something about gays? You know, the, the gays are alright. Okay. Gays are alright. Gays are alright, are they? Good. Okay, he spoke about uh, like uh, LGBT community. How important do you think education is? I haven't got that much. I'm all right, aren't I? I mean, any form of education. I don't just mean that you can learn things. That you, you can know too much, though, can't you? And then you worry about stuff. You can learn things. That you can you know too much, though, can't you? And then you worry about stuff. Worried about stuff. What sort of thing? What do you mean? Just stuff like if you watch the news, you start going, oh, it's a war on and that. Don't watch it. It's like, no worries. Do you know what I mean? You got Einstein. Yeah. He knew loads. Look at the state of him. <laughs> what do you mean? Look at the state oh, of him. He, 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 he looks a bit of a mess, doesn't he? Right. Whereas, I don't know, look at a caveman or whatever. Caveman. Uh, caveman, okay. With no worries. Fairly healthy looking, good hair. You know what I mean, they're not bald, they're not stressed out. Because you've lost a lot of hair, do you think that's from all this knowledge that's shooting around in your head? Yeah, probably, I do, yeah, probably.
nice uh, kind of joke about his head too. I could do without, you know, some of the knowledge you've got on that. I think we need some evidence, though. I think we want to know some of the knowledge you've got. Like what? What do you want to know? But I, I remember talking to you about the nature of infinity. What? Nature of infinity. Once, and uh, there's a lovely model that shows the nature of infinity, where they say um, an infinite amount of chimps, an infinite amount of typewriters. Chimps. What is chimps? Chim. Amount of chimps. Ah, chimpanzee. Chimps. Will um, type the complete works of Shakespeare. And <laughs> Will they type the complete works of Shakespeare? You couldn't grasp that. You couldn't wouldn't grasp. happen. Wouldn't happen. I think you know it wouldn't happen, but you say it would to annoy me. No, because it's it works by definition. Because it's the nature of infinity. It doesn't matter. If it, it, infinite means if they did everything at random. Just random, 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 forever, forever and ever and ever. Eventually, they type everything. They, it, 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 it wouldn't. It wouldn't. They check. What do you mean? It wouldn't. It wouldn't. There'd always be mistakes. There would be mistakes. They'd do the complete works of Shakespeare an infinite amount of times. Yeah, but do you mean they'd actually do it from start to finish? I understand what he's speaking about. Maybe this dude from London, not from Manchester, not Carl Pillington. I forget what's name of this person with black hair. And uh, he speaks about uh, like if chimpanzee champs uh, will do typing on a typewriter on a type machine, and uh, then randomly they can write a work of Shakespeare. Yes, it is true. They can. They can. I believe in it because it is law of possibilities it is law of randomness if you do this uh, no we don't have law of randomness it's law of possibility if you do something so big amount of time then finally you have zero 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 and one million zero one one percent of uh, possibility that it will happen that they can write something because they they can write some words for for example word ga hamlet 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 i don't know how to say shakespeare hamlet yes they can ro write hamlet word easily like if they uh, will do t -t 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 so big amount of times they can randomly type uh, this word only by combination of it they can write uh, they will try like a like a touchy and they will do correctness but it is harder to write Shakespeare novel or some of the like Apple epic epic novel than a word Hamlet because it is many words and they should use it in a correct way but if they will use infinity number of tries then they can write it easily not easily but uh, maybe in a one one million trillion times uh, they will try and then they can write for example three sentences of their novels of uh, shakespeare novel i hope that you understand me it is all about like number of attempts it is about success the same thing if you try it many times then you will achieve it and you will be successful guys because uh, it is a low possibility you should try, 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 and the more you try, the better you become. Because it is uh, you do different choices, you do different uh, types of attempts, and what's difference between you and chimpanzee that you can understand when you've done right decision and when you've done wrong decision to to be to be near, to be closer to your goal. You can understand that right now I wrote Homlet, not Hamlet. And you understand that next time I will not write Homlet, I will write Hamlet. Yes, and uh, it means that uh, in difference with chimpanzee, you can uh, understand what's wrong, what's right. And uh, you make next decision even better. Do your own thing, guys. It is motivation thing. Okay, let's go to the next. Or a chapter, they might get a chapter done, you go, right, well done. Shut up, no! No, no! No! 
there's no there's no feedback to it. It's just that everything being done, they will eventually do everything every time. They 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 get it wrong an infinite amount of times. They get every letter wrong an infinite amount of times. So monkey. It doesn't matter whether it's an infinite amount of monkeys. Why well, does the other one know what the first one does? It d doesn't matter. They've chosen monkeys, not because they're thinking about it, to take thought out of it. They want it to be random. Yeah, but when they hand over... When Who they hands over? over? The what do you mean they shift? The monkey. The monkey's done, done I, whatever shift pattern they're on. <laughs> they're not on a shift pattern. Infi infinity. You work from now, forever. That's one monkey. What difference does it make if it's one monkey for an infinite amount of time, or an infinite amount of monkeys. Because you can believe it if it was... Infinite amount of monkeys that type for infinite amount of time. Wow. If it was one monkey doing it. Because he's going to get better, isn't he, as time goes on. It's nothing to do with their consciousness. It's nothing to do with them thinking about it. What do you mean he'd get better? He'd get better if he's doing it on his own, if it's just a one monkey. You know? It's so abstract to talk and it is so funny, it is hilarious because of it knows what he's done. It's nothing to do with knowing what you've done. It's just a random process to show the nature of infinity. With no errors. It may not happen. Seriously, people, I think you're winding me up on that one. It wouldn't I think that talk is funny and hilarious because they... Oh, Jesus Christ, two mosquitoes sitting on my shelf. And uh, it, because uh, it is... <laughs> So random talk because they speak in different like kind of languages. Happened, and it hasn't happened because we haven't had an infinite amount of monkeys. We've had one. years though, haven't we? There hasn't been one publication for monkey. <laughs> we've been around. We've been around longer than us. That's what I'm saying. We've been around <laughs> longer than us. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, but I think you know. I think you know. It's doesn't happen. The elderly. Think of the old people. Think of the old issues. What do you mean? What do you think about, you know, but isn't it a shame that the people work their life and then just get a little state pension that... Oh, they do all right for themselves, don't they, old yeah. people? What do they do? Just, just potter about, don't they? Just potter. Yeah. They don't need much money. Potter? Like pottery or potter like from Harry Potter? Yeah. As you get older. What do they spend it on doing? Ornaments. <laughs> They're fading out, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. We'll have a lot of ornaments in a few years' time. Ornaments. Ornaments, it is uh, kind of creating something. No one buys ornaments now. It's always older people, isn't it? Yeah. Just as you get older, I mean, things are changing all the time. It's like I've said to you about old people that don't have Twixes, they don't eat Twix, but they like ornaments. So that generation, you know what I mean? Things change. What do you mean old people don't like Twix? You know Twix, Trix? See an old man having a Twix. You know, you never see one eating one. Well, how would you know? Because you see them, don't you, sat about having worthers or whatever. But you never see them sat there tucking into a Twix. I've never thought about it. Oh, well, that's because you haven't seen them. Ah, weeks. Like a uh, for him. Well, so think about it. If you saw if you saw a fellow eating one, you go, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Brilliant. Didn't understand. Crime and punishment. Oh, we have the same thing from uh, Fyodor Dostoevsky. It is our Russian writer. Start with capital punishment. Do you believe in the death penalty? Yeah. Death penalty. Death penalty it is uh, when someone uh, should be punished by death. I don't think that it is uh, a good thing to make someone die by death penalty. I think that uh, we should punish him like, not punish, punishment it is uh, not really a nice word, need to make him believe that he can, he can become kind of kind person. If, uh, if they know for certain that... Well, how do you know for certain? If they say I did it. Well, people have confessed before and been lying, haven't they, to get attention or something. Why would you? Why would you lie? You might be protecting someone else. Uh, the love of a of a, a parent for their child who's committed a terrible crime might say, "I did it." There's loads of reasons. How, how can you kill someone? How can you make that a definitive ending when you can never know? If because that did. person wouldn't do it again. Because then they'd know, wouldn't they? What? Say if I did a murder. Yeah. You said, "I'll take the rap for it." Yeah. Right. You go and get on. Yeah. 
I can't do a murder again because the girl said it wasn't at him. It was well, there's loads of, no, there's loads of reasons people. Uh, uh, if you're mental, if you're a serial killer, you don't stop because you think you might get caught. So what are you asking me? Oh, uh-huh. I think that if you have a really serial killer, killer mind, he thinks that he will be cut and then he kills bigger amount of people. He kills bigger number. And uh, how to prevent it? Need to make him like uh, do excuses if he will and uh, if he will say like I killed him then need to make him like less less punishment need to do because I understand this mind of crime person serial killer if they understand that will be punishment of death then they will do anything to prevent it because people are so not fully, but 95% of people, I think so, they think about their life. They don't want to die. Yes, and uh, I don't know, is it easier to make someone die or like serial killer mind? Do I want to die myself or do I want to kill this person? What's the... What's the hardest choice do i want to die myself or do i want to make this person die what will we choose what's what's road i think that serial killer will choose kill someone else again and uh, if he will not be punished by death then he maybe will think hmm maybe i should not kill someone else again I was asking you, do you believe in the death penalty? No. Well, you, what, what do you want me to say? I don't know what the right answer is. Well, it's what you think. We're having a discussion. I said, I said, if, if they've done it and that, yeah, do them in, yeah. Could you pull the rope? Could you release the guillotine? Why am I getting involved in it? Well, if you believe in it, surely, surely if you believe in it, you should be able to stand by it. Well, what, which one is it? Which one have I got? A, do what, what button am I pressing? Does it matter? Well, yeah, it's different, isn't it? Well, you wouldn't hang someone, but you'd... So what do you do when you hang someone? You kick the stool away? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Well, it probably is, I don't know, it's probably more sophisticated now. It used to be a trap door, didn't it? So you just go like that. It's an easy gig. That's a job. That's someone's job. Okay, then. Okay, we're not getting anywhere in. If you had to be killed, right, would you rather be hung, beheaded, Burn at the stake or lethal injection? Lethal injection. Interesting. Again, hung, lethal injection. I think that lethal injection is uh, easier one. Burn it is... Uh... <gasps> Jesus, I, I imagine like a head... Burn at the stake or lethal injection. It is so scary to imagine it. Probably, uh, probably injection. Definitely. He said, so you know, you just go to sleep. What if I tell you? Everything else is the same, but with a lethal injection. I think that the best way to die. Oh, sorry, it is uh, not propagandic for dying uh, or something like a suicidal thing. I jumped from third floor when I was in 2019 on 20, 20 21st uh, December in the night. You can Google it. E, J, day, day, like a day. E, hashtag, hashtag, E. J, 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 Day, E, J, Day, 303. It is uh, my bl vlog about how I jumped from third floor because my neighbors wanted to kill me with knives. And uh, about lethal injection, what's the... 
I think that the best way to diet is uh, by aging. Maybe. When you sleep, like he said. As he injects it, he just slips his finger up your ass with a laugh. Well, that happen. <laughs> I'm not in small print. I've been talking about before. <laughs> I'm just saying, would it make a difference if you're going to die anyway? So, it, you just lay down like that, like, he just injects it and goes, okay, just not, he's just... Why is he doing that? What? Why is he doing that? Just for a laugh, why not? For a laugh? Well, yeah, if he's killing you, if you're worthless to society, why doesn't he have, you might as well put his finger up your ass. What's it up to you? What's to you? It doesn't make any difference to you, is it? You're going to die in a minute. And do I know he's going to do this? Yeah, it's, well, you, I'm, not, I'm not happy. So what is it then? Leaf injection with the finger up the ass. Hang in. I'm not happy with the finger up the ass. <laughs> no, you're not. But you're not. Surely you're not happy being put to death. I just say, uh, what, what, hang on a minute. What, what's what? Why are you putting gloves on? Why are you getting that finger out to get my ass? He maybe doesn't put gloves on. Why does he put gloves on? Well, I'm, I'm not happy with that. But it's nothing to do with you, Carl. Well, what do you have? I'd have a leaf injection without the finger up my ass. That's not your choice, though. You've done an awful crime. I'm not having finger up the ass. Hang me then. Finger in the ass or what? Uh, what are they speaking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather be hung than leaf injection with just, just popping the finger up your ass. I don't want that. So okay. Um, uh, I'm have your head cut off. You know about the... Uh, are you are you still alive for about thirty seconds? I see you had your head cut off. Wouldn't have thought so. You see this again? You know you believe the monkey is talking away. Well, it's nerve reactions, isn't it? You're not alive as such. Well, they got him to walk um, years ago. Whenever they did the last sort of head chopped off thing, how yeah. long ago was that? I don't know. I think that the best way to die is a nuclear thing, maybe, like when uh, you're smashed. Oh jeez, I don't want to imagine it. this kind of scary thing. <laughs> a few years ago, right? Yeah. And um, he said to him, right, you're going to die in that. You've yeah. come to terms with it. Yeah. yeah. Have a bit of fun, right? Um, Think uh, about the arms? No, no, no. Going to do a white line on the pavement. Bollocks. How could they tell him that that's what they were going to do? So he was meant to what? Remember this and walk the white line without a fucking head. Well, that, this is what they did. Well, no. They painted a white line, yeah. right? Yeah. He said to him, right, I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. There's the line. Have a look now. Right, so you know where it is. Carl, think what you're saying. How is, how is he going to remember it without a head? No, you remember. You, you remember. Where's the memory? Where's the memory? In his legs. Where do you think you store memory? In your fucking arms. <laughs> yeah, but if you do it quick enough, if it's like, go, and, and you... It's like a, a spider without legs. They... Uh, they do movements to... No, he's walking there. And he's, he's walking. And he walked... No, 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 it's bollocks. It's he, bollocks. Did, he did 35 steps. Bollocks. It's not it bollocks. Is. Bollocks, it is uh, untruthful, yes? Bollocks. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Bullshit. Bollocks, though. Because how can the body remember... What his head was told a few seconds ago. His head's now in a basket. Yeah. The body doesn't go, what was I meant to, meant to, sorry, what was I meant to do? I know, I was meant to walk along. Well, you they know, did it, it was a test. Well, no, it wouldn't happen. You're talking shit again. Okay. Believe in yeah. absolute yeah. bollocks. So you with the monkeys and the Shakespeare. That's what annoys me. It's not about monkeys, is it? It's about random. Yeah. <laughs> random. So you'd have lethal injection? Lethal injection, yeah. I think that is best. Well, thanks very much, Carl Pilkington. Thank you. Thank you for this conversation and interview. It is interesting. It was interesting to listen and to learn new words. I learned about bollocks. I learned also uh, words uh, about like lethal injection. I didn't know. I didn't think about it before. About some types of death, how to <laughs> die, and uh, about chimpanzee, about elephant man. Yes, so interesting. Thank you a lot for being with me and learning this stuff together. We can continue it by doing it daily and by learning new stuff. If you want, you can subscribe to this channel and click like button because I do videos and you don't need to watch every video on my channel. I do them so big amount right now because it is preparation time. I prepare myself to do better things in English. Like uh, I learn it. And when I 
will be also I do writing and uh, I do writing like a book and uh, when I will be so good in English yes I'm I'm not ready need to start when you are not ready and I do this when I'm not ready when it will be really like a, a better quality then content will be a better quality too yes uh, I hope you understand me when I will understand it and we can communicate with someone else like it will be like a discord session with someone and we can do conversation asking questions answering talking about something it will be a better content I hope so thank you a lot for watching see you next time you're a cool guy or girl improve yourself daily don't forget about it bye